NASA just saw something in the latest three I slash ATLAS data today, and it confirms what a lot of people were quietly afraid of. This object is not just changing, it is evolving fast. Every time we think this interstellar comet has picked a mode and is going to stick with it, the next set of images shows a new version of the object. If you have been following this story and you do not want to miss the moment this object either stabilizes or does something we have never seen before, make sure you are subscribed, drop a like, and stay with me until the end, because what showed up in today's observations makes it very clear. Atlas is not done transforming. Here is what NASA just saw. Before we continue, if this has your attention, you can subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit like at any time. And for the best viewing experience, switch to full screen and enjoy what comes next. Today's update was built around one idea. Compare everything, yesterday versus today, old models versus new data, different wavelengths stacked on top of each other. The first surprise came from a set of coordinated images taken only hours apart by different observatories. In the older frame, the inner coma, that bright, tight glow around the nucleus, had a stretched, bar-like shape with two faint tail branches fanning out behind it. In today's frame, that same region does not just look sharper, it looks more organized. The inner coma has developed a clear, twisted structure, a spiral-like pattern curling outward from the center. It is faint, but once you enhance the contrast and subtract the background, you can clearly trace the spiral arm wrapping around one side of the nucleus and feeding into the main tail. Side by side, it looks like three I slash ATLAS went from messy chaos to a complex pattern in less than a day. That is the first clue that it is evolving, not just flickering randomly. The second clue comes from the light curve. Yesterday's brightness pattern per rotation was already strange, with uneven peaks, slight drifts in timing, and hints that the spin state was not perfectly stable. Today's photometry shows a new feature. On top of the main rise and fall, there is now a repeating secondary bump, a smaller pulse of brightness that appears at a consistent phase in each cycle. It is like a heartbeat inside a heartbeat. That usually means one thing. A new active region has come online and is now contributing regularly as the comet spins. So in just one day, the coma went from a stretched blob to a visible spiral, and the rotation signature went from slightly weird to clearly multilayered. Now add the third piece, the spectra. When NASA's teams compared yesterday's gas fingerprints with today's, they found a subtle but important shift. The overall activity level has not exploded, but the balance between different volatiles and dust has tilted again. Lines associated with deeper, more resilient ices are slightly stronger. Scattering signatures from larger dust grains have increased. Meanwhile, some of the lighter components that dominated earlier in the encounter have started to fade. That tells you exactly what is happening physically. Atlas is beginning to vent from deeper layers than before. The outer material, the easy ices and loosely bound dust is being stripped away, and now the interior is waking up. The evolving spiral structure, the new rotational pulse, and the shifting gas mix are all saying the same thing. This comet is not just getting dimmer and drifting off, it is changing state internally. The heat it absorbed near the sun is still moving inward, reaching fresh pockets of material that have never been exposed to a star like this. Each time one of those pockets crosses its critical temperature, it opens a new vent, feeds a new jet, or reshapes the existing flow. From the outside, that looks like a new spiral in the dust a new bump in the light curve, and a new mixture of gas in the coma. And because the vents are not all pointing in the same direction, every new one that turns on also changes the forces acting on the nucleus. That is where today's non-gravitational update comes in. When the newest positional data were fed into the orbit solver, the extra push from outgassing, that tiny engine-like effect, did not vanish. It actually became more consistent. For the first time in a while, the magnitude of that push stopped jumping around and started lining up with what you would expect from a stable set of jets. But here is the catch. Those jets were not there a few days ago. In other words, 3I slash ATLAS is evolving toward a new configuration. It started as a chaotic, flaring mess, and now it is beginning to behave like a more coherent multi-jet engine 
powered by deeper layers and more organized flows, that is both fascinating and dangerous. Because if the jets continue to stabilize while the spin state is still shifting, you end up with sustained directional torque acting on a nucleus that has already been stressed and cracked by months of intense heating and cooling. Think about spinning a fragile object faster and faster while also drilling deeper holes through it. At first, you reveal structure. Then you reach a point where the structure cannot keep up. That is the line Atlas seems to be walking right now. On one side, it completes this evolution, settles into a new stable pattern, and escapes our solar system as a scarred but intact interstellar comet. On the other side, each new layer that activates adds more stress than the last, and the object crosses a threshold where it can no longer redistribute that stress. At that point, evolving fast turns into breaking apart. We are not there yet. NASA's language today is still clinical. Evolving coma morphology, changing volatile composition, refine non-gravitational parameters, but hidden in that careful wording is a simple truth. This object is not cooling off. It is progressing layer by layer, jet by jet, day by day. If tomorrow's data show the same spiral, the same extra pulse in the light curve, and a stable push in the same direction, we will know that Atlas has locked into its new mode, at least for now. If tomorrow's data show yet another twist, a new pattern, a new direction, or a new structural change, then today's evolving fast will turn out to be just one frame in an even faster transformation. Either way, we are not watching a static visitor. We are watching an interstellar object rewrite itself in real time as it leaves. So if you want to see whether 3i slash ATLAS finishes this evolution quietly or takes it one step too far, make sure you are subscribed because whatever NASA just saw today is clear. 3i slash ATLAS is not done changing. It is evolving and it is doing so fast.